Uh, let's talk about young Tom. Quit mm. school, no qualifications, went through a variety of jobs. Yeah. Uh, including a builder's labourer. Yeah. Were you, ca- were you hod carrying? Yes. How many bricks could mighty... Because, uh, you know, you're, you're a big fella. That's right. You're, you look, you're a strong man. Yeah, about 22, you know, was in it. But Tw- you, can put, you can put more than that in it, but not on a, not on a regular basis. Right, OK. So you can, you can do Tw- 22. Tw- 22 happily up and down the ladder all day long. Yeah. Wow. How long did you do that for, Tom? Uh, about two years, I think. See, I always think it's a wonderful thing, and I, I'm, I'm sure you know you've met you've you know you've met a, a wonderful array of people throughout your life. I'm sure, yeah. but and and sometimes people who work in the media they're not so grounded, okay? Right. And I think it's one no, but I, I genuinely think it's wonderful that people have been through. When you meet someone in the media, you know, and they seem like a very level-headed, nice, down-to-earth guy, mm. often you will find out that you know what. It wasn't. It didn't all start. I wasn't a child star, yeah. basically. You know, I had to do a bit of graft, and exactly, I, I, I yeah. know how the world works. Mm-hmm. And did you feel it kind of? It kind of set you in good stead for life. So definitely, you can, yeah. you can always remember. Hey, listen, he's saying got twenty two bricks on my shoulder. That's right. Right. You know, sometimes <laughs> people say to me, "You don't know what the real world's like. Real world is yeah. like, you know, yeah. sometimes." And you put twenty two bricks on their shoulder and, and I'll go, show yeah, you. "Yeah, some of that. <laughs> yeah. Get up you. that ladder. <laughs> exactly. yeah? Who's real now?" <laughs> right. Um, I got to ask you. You were then a door to door vacuum salesman. Yeah. Did not so good. Um, one bad, <laughs> right? But, but I didn't want to take it up as a you know a, a lifetime uh, <laughs> career. Do you, do you think if the Dyson had been out, it might have been an easier sell? <laughs> no. Do you think it might have been a very different story? You would have been like just a karaoke singer well, and, maybe, and a very wealthy vacuum salesman. Yeah, maybe it was better than it wasn't out then. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm assuming when you were, you were knocking on a lot of the doors there, there must have yeah. been a lot. Yeah, it, unmis- unmistakably, you're a very uh-huh. handsome man, Tom, and I'm sure you were back there. <laughs> Big, you've just come off two years of 21, st- you know, bricks up and down. You, yeah. you look pretty pretty healthy physique, I'm sure. Right. There must have been a few... You know what? Don't worry about the vacuum cleaner, but my old fella's not back till five. <laughs> Do you fancy coming inside? Well, yeah, how do you know all this? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was singing in the workman's clubs at the time. Right, OK. So and I would be selling vacuum cleaners in the same areas in the afternoon. Oh, So, hey, you know, jobs squids in straight away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. well, we saw you last night in the... And yeah. Thing and, uh, right, come in, have a cup of tea, and uh, <laughs> Bob's your uncle. So it was an easy sell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolutely. And, so, and then the second, the second release from that album. Yep. Little track. You might, you might know. You might know this. Is, this is the backing music from it. You might be. This might be familiar to you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 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 this was. Uh, this reached number one, despite, despite the BBC, no less, refusing mm-hmm. to play it. Quite right. Why on earth wouldn't they play it? I don't know. I don't think they liked it, and I think my, you know. Oh, hang on. Mm, mm. Oh, what's that? My reputation. Oh, is that the BBC? Was... Mm, is that the BBC eating humble pie? <laughs> oh, yes. And it tastes good. Let me tell you. There you go. And then I, I got. We just mentioned it very briefly. You were you became very good friends with Elvis Presley. Is that right? Yep. Which is a. I mean, that uh, he must have been a, a, a formidable, formidable man, oh, a formidable character. Yeah. And well, when I that all happened in, in the first year, that 1965, when I went to the states, I was in Los Angeles. You know, and knocked on his door. Do you want to buy a vacuum cleaner? Well, exactly. No, so. Come on, you never blast. <laughs> It is. It's not unusual. <laughs> so he said, uh, you know, how the hell do you sing like that? I mean, that's the truth. Yeah. And I said, well, you were partly to blame, you know, listening to you. Right. So so it was great. It was it was mind-boggling that these people, Sonata as well, you know, was loved the way I was singing. So. Oh, how you doing, Frank? You're right. High <laughs> exactly. five. Yeah, you like yeah. a bit of this? <laughs> Wonderful. Oh. Uh, now, <laughs> now the, uh, there's a lovely story about Elvis in the green, green grass at home, isn't there? Yeah. Right, would you want to tell it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, it, when it came out, Elvis was driving back from Los Angeles to Memphis because he used to get homesick. Yeah. Anytime he did a movie, he couldn't wait to get back to Memphis. Okay. So. Um, and he used to go in like a big old. like A, a bus. He had a big bus. Right, yeah. Know, Winnebago uh, type thing. Because he, yeah, he didn't he, like flying, am I right? Or, right. right. And he liked driving. Yeah. So he used to drive himself, you know, yeah. on this big do, bus. Do, do, do. <laughs> Selvis, get yeah. out of the way. It's so. <laughs> really, a fact, though. So anyway. so Rubbing uh, a load of speed in his, in his gums, you know what I mean? Good. Driving through the night. Yeah. I don't know if he did that. It's just what lorry drivers do. Sorry, yeah. yeah. So, um, so anyway, so the Green Green Grass of Home just came out. So he called a DJ in Memphis, and he said, once I get within earshot, you know, of Memphis, I want you to play this Green Green Grass of Home. Lovely. Continuously. Uh, Ellie's mum is a huge... Fanny, it was Mrs. Davis. She's yes. over, she's behind there. There's a lovely story where Ellie almost wasn't Ellie, right? Because she was meant to be, she was meant to be having a date with Mr. Davis, is that right? Yes. And then she said, You know what? I'm really sorry. I've got to go. I've got tickets for Tom at the Palladium. I've got to go. And, and she went off. She saw you. She came back. She was so roused up by it all. <laughs> Ellie was then conceived, like isn't, that yeah. Yeah. isn't that a beautiful oh. thing? Yeah. So, so, and in honor of that, uh, she's baked, she's baked you a cake, sir. <laughs> Okay. 
Here we go. Wow. This is Tom's cake. Oh, oh you like that? Oh, look at that. How do you like them apples? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that what they call them, though? Yeah, that is what they call them. So we're going we're gonna to put that over there, and uh, and then we're going to get the yeah. knife, which I, I hope is is it's just there. Is just there. Right, Tom. Uh, and then, Tom, we, I think you know the bit that you need to cut out, don't you, Tom? <laughs> yeah, right That's down the That's a bit for you. Yeah, absolutely. Right there. And I want, I want Tom on air just to have a little taste, if you will. Okay. Do you, do you eat cake, Tom? Uh, yes. Right, well, that's good. Not all the time, but once right. in a while. He's special gonna... special occasion. Special you know. cakes. I just have a little bit. There you go, a little bit. We're going to see how he likes it. Now, Tom, whether you like this or not... I've got to say I do. You've got to say you do, all right? Let me see. Just common courtesy. Mm. Here we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wow. Wonderful it is. Give it a big round. Give just the like cake. Just like Mum used to make. Just like Mum used to make. There you go. Uh, Mrs. Davis's cake. And he, he went straight for the crease there, it did, didn't it he? Did. Yeah. <laughs>